So this game, it's once again the same thing. Like we want to think about what is our win condition here. Is this Vigar mid? Yeah. So our win condition, this is the opposite of last game. Our, win condi our strong side is bot lane. Only because Alawi, Alawi doesn't, like, should not require help from the jungler. She wants to 1v2. She's like a Darius. She wants, what she wants to do is she wants people to melees, which is the jungle, enemy jungle and enemy top, to dive on her. And she wants to play like that. Now, if something goes wrong early game or whatever, like, that's unfortunate. But that's still how Alawi wants to play. This invade... Uh, it's unfortunate. I don't know why you guys were all grouped in that bush. That's probably one of the worst bushes to group in. Just giving you guys a tip. Like, it, it looks like you guys were spotting an invade. Wait over here. Wait in this bush because there's no way you can get ambushed. This game and more being streamed over on my Twitch. Submit your games in my Discord for review. <coughs> this bush is always the bush that people get picked off in. If Like, if you're trying to counter invade. Or, like, you're, yeah, you're trying to set up a stack. Like, this is a good bush to stack in. This is a good bush to stack in. Never stack in, like, this bush or this bush. These bu these bushes get you killed. Just a, just a small tip. But, so, top lane... Top lane is losing. Or, top lane's not losing. Top lane is a, is a matchup where top lane wants to get ganked because she's a Lowey. She wants to outplay multiple melees. So, strong side is bot lane. We got double scaling mid. This is crazy. It's just a crazy invade thing again if they just repeat invade. Uh, this is going to catch any team unaware. Uh, there's not really much to critique there. If you guys had... Sorry. If you guys had a, had, had a ward in a better spot, that ward in the, in the red didn't really spot anything. But you know they have vision on it. A lot of the times when they do that shit... A ge another general tip... A lot of times when teams do that invade, like, uh, uh, immediately, they're going to do some cheese shit, like, return. What we do, personally, is, like, instead of instead of Volibear starting, like, the, the red buff there, Volibear starts, like, his Raptors, which is a more defensible def defensible jungle camp. Like, he, he, if, if Volibear's at Raptors, he's not getting jumped on by the fucking Jax there and getting killed, right? Volibear starts Raptors. Volibear starts on the on, on his blue side. That way, you're not getting fucked over because you guys already lost the level 1 invade. It's way safer. Much more, like... It'll give you guys a higher chance of winning because, like, you guys already lost the level 1 invade. Trying to defend that right there is just, like... It, you saw what happened. You lost, you know? It's, it's really tough. They have all the advantages. They have all the vision over you guys and everything. So... The game has already gone horrendous to start with. Sivir is, uh... Did you guys die? Or did I miss something? No, no. You didn't miss anything. Uh, Sivir's already got a 2-0 kill lead. That's already really bad because it's in your only your strong lane. This is a good gank if it gets a kill off. Because a lot of times, it's unexpected. It's unexpected when you get a gank off in your weak lane because players don't, like... Expect it. What you don't want to do is play off of that side con consistently, but getting an early gank off like that, that's good, right? They didn't expect it. You don't, like, it, 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 you're playing opposite to the enemy player's expect expectations. Now, the, the Sivir hasn't gotten to spend her gold, so she's really not ahead yet. So, like, you guys are doing the right thing. Uh, what I just saw mid lane, I don't think you want to be doing. You don't want to. You don't want to give away the gank before the uh, the the Vigar, or before the the Volibear even showed up. Volibear hadn't even walked out of the bush yet when you started flying forward on the Vigar. Gave it away a little bit too early. Yeah, Van Van is actually good into Sivir. You have a strong bot lane. Morgana is extremely weak. She's not even good into into what you guys have picked. So, uh, like that's really like a. That's a good bot lane for you guys. Uh, we have top scuttle control. Looks like Jax is slow on his clear. He did a full clear but didn't take the scuttle. Uh, you should spot that bot scuttle is still up. And you should go into bot river and take that scuttle. 
Because that he, he didn't even he didn't clear it. You can, you'll see it like walk over one of these wards that you that ward you have in bot lane river, which means that it's still there. Yeah, I just, it's okay. We won't watch how it ends. But so early, early, what we got going on is is top lane is winning. Bot lane is even because they. The, you're technically winning right now, but you're even at, at worst because Sivir hasn't been able to spend her gold yet. She also ha she does have cold start, which means they have no fighting pressure. So right here, what you actually who you actually wanted to go on was the Morgana, uh, because the Morgana was more forward. Even specifically right there, when you when you saw Sivir put the spell, get spell shielded, if you swap to Morgana, you can condemn Morgana into the wall. What the heck is happening here? So we saw them put the pink ward down, and unfortunately, like, I, I think we didn't realize what's happening because we walked in. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> uh, okay, so they put the pink ward down. <laughs> that they, The enemy bot lane wasn't there, right? So uh, that, that means that's their juggler. It's like, we don't... We don't walk there. When, when you see that, you walk away. But what Jax did is retarded. <laughs> he fucking jumped under turret and killed himself. I don't even... <laughs> I've never seen that. <laughs> so... <laughs> like that... I mean, hey, they're, give, you're, they're giving you guys the lead back from their level 1. Looks like we, we snuck an early dragon. That's pretty good. I mean... I would have I would have said because of the the invade like we were we were in a losing situation so it would have been tough to do it but I mean hey kudos on on getting a sneak then nobody came over and contested you you just got to take it for free so that's good you take those <laughs> what you want to be doing then you want to be getting you, your clear off you want to be uh, for instance whatever you you can clear your entire red side then you reset and then you see here if you have gold to spend I you probably don't you don't really have anything to buy. Clear your red side. If you're if you're not intending to reset, the order that you're clearing your red side is really bad here. But if you are resetting, it's good. Or it's fine, technically. Because if you don't plan to reset, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you clear the side, like, the fastest, like, uh, pathing to the other side. Looks like you're resetting. I would still would have done, I would finish your Krugs. Like, instead of resetting there, you reset on your red. After doing two of your camps, you have three camps. Clear the Krugs. You probably hit six, and so that way, when you reset your and you go to your top side to clear your camps, you are probably about to hit six. Like, or you either are six, or you're about to hit six. You know what I mean? It's way, way more efficient. You're no downtime. Crux is a, a very good camp. Okay, we're wrecking shit bot lane. Like, we're we're actually just winning the two v twos. We want to make sure that we can set up defensive vision to make sure that we are not in danger ever because if, if this bot lane goes uninhibited at this point uh we're just gonna keep winning so for bot lane i'm gonna i don't think anything actually is happening right now so i don't need to pause just yet uh the wards that you want to get to actually defend yourselves bot lane because it's a jax you want to get a ward like here or you want to get a ward over here because he's He's going to gank you by hopping over this wall instead of coming down river. There's also a possibility of a lane gank, so you can always get a ward here, but I think that most play like better players usually do the lane ganks to avoid wards. I wouldn't assume that these guys really know what they're doing because they the the Jax has already been doing stuff that like I would think is not very good. So yeah, so ward, wards to defend yourselves bot when you're this far ahead from the jacks is going to be like the, this ward, or you put it in this bush. You can even you can even just put it right here because that it's not important that it gets in this bush. It just like that that's just the most optimal area. You can even if you feel safe after especially after getting that kill on Sivir, support just walks up here, puts the ward here, right between the blue buff and the Grom. And then Volley Bear, like if for like when your bot lane is winning this hard, like Volley Bear buys a pink <coughs> and he gets you guys a pink, 
as well. Like, he can put the pink here, which defends you from the, like, the flanking ganks, which is, like, Jax walks across the river and then walks through here, walks you through you behind. Because wait, if you get spotted on this board, it's usually too late. Like, you guys are already probably over here or something. Like, you're going to get ganked. The gank is going to work, even though you have a pink ward here. The pink ward here is to deny their vision from your jungler. So this game, it looks like you're fighting... Okay. What's going on here? This is crazy. This is like a crazy, crazy fight. I think there was an opportunity to smite that. Uh, fortunately, we, we didn't get it. Uh, we don't want to be taking this fight. Only because... What did we establish already? Right? Before, that, before this all even went down, we established that their top side... Which is their mid, their jungle, and their top laner. We're winning. So we don't want to do this kind of like this herald fight. Unless you know their top laner or their mid laner left. So that way you know you have an advantage. When you're just taking this like this 50-50 this fight. You're already, this is the fight where they're winning. They're going to win this. Like you know what I mean? Like they've already got their head top lane. Their head jungle. Their head mid. They're, they're going to win. You can maybe look for a steal or something, but you're you're not even level six. You know what I mean? Like if you you, you want to be six if you're if you're at that Rift Herald because like it's you're just you're just too too behind. Okay. Uh, we're still <coughs> we're still winning bot lane. Bot lane is still winning. Uh, no point in chasing this Morgana. She's gone. Uh, you just go pick up your minions. But the the Milio should get. See, do you have your ward item? I don't think you do yet. No, you do. Uh, you probably haven't reset yet to get your wards. There you go. Okay, you just got your wards there. What you want to do now is, uh, as the Milio is e either you're, it looks like you're, you're hard shoving. You want to help him like hit this wave. You can even hit minions like, all right, we just burnt, we burned Milio ult there for no reason. Uh, the, the vein wasn't in any danger. Having that burned like kind of for free right there doesn't really do anything for you guys. It really puts you in a bad situation. Now you guys are a little bit overextended here without ults. You want, you got to get your reset off, but you... Don't have a cannon wave here, so it's real rough. So yeah, th this all stems from like uh, basically like we want to work together to to shove this lane as fast as possible. This is this is crazy. This is just baiting everybody into suicide. This was a terrible gank from uh, the volley bear here. I I think in comms like we just got to communicate like don't do that because. Bot lane had already just run away. No mana, no sums, no ultimates. Like there is no world where where bot where your blue team is winning that fight. So we just like compound like a huge loss. Why am I only on Milio? Here we go. Um. So. What went wrong there is we want to we want to shove the wave right the cat the cannon wave. After that reset, you guys had like you already had gold. You just like killed the Siver. Siver's on her way back. What is going on here? That we we can't be. <laughs> this is crazy, guys. <laughs> we walked past this huge wave here. <laughs> <laughs> this huge wave needs to be cleared. That's that's a lot of gold that you, that you're missing on the carry that is already winning. <laughs> we like what you just did is like instead of a that's a 300 gold lead to them, that's like a 600 gold lead to them because you just didn't get in any of those minions. You know what I mean? Like that's a it's a big swing to just give up. So game's still not over. What we want to be doing. That E on Aurelian Soul doesn't do anything. Never put your E anywhere that isn't like a minion wave early game because you don't have you don't have the ability to keep them in it and actually pressure them. You only want to use your E to collect your your stardust. So you're scaling.
nice trade kill. I actually thought you were dead there, but you actually ended up killing him. I don't know if he took a tower shot or something like that, but congrats on the kill. I would have said, like, Wing forward was, like, guaranteeing that he killed you because you could have W'd backwards, but you ended up turning around, so. So, since bot lane, <coughs> since bot lane lost their turret, and they're the winning lane, you kind of don't want them in this long lane anymore. What you want to do, you probably want to swap your bot lane mid and have Aurelian Soul go bot. Because Aurelian Soul can fly away and be safe. Your bot lane, like, you can get ganked on repeat, and it puts you in a really bad situation. Losing your tower means you don't have safety. And, it, and especially in that long of a lane, like, you can get you can get ganked by Jax really easily. But somebody needs to be collecting that CS bot lane. Can't, can't hit the turret. It should be Aurelian Soul. Aurelian Soul is just scaling anyways. He's not really in a position where he's doing much. Go to the Leandries. This game, that's good. Still should have had a tier, though. Don't want to just complete the full item when you could buy a 400 gold item and start stacking. It's not that strong. Especially because Aurelian Soul only gets stronger as time goes on because he's getting the Stardust. So you're still you're still weak early. You want to you get that... You want to get that tier ticking so that way once you finish Leandre's, the tier's at 360. Now we're three man laning here mid. That can't be happening. So what, what Aurelian Soul needs to do is Aurelian Soul, you guys got to communicate this. Aurelian Soul needs to never be in the same lane at this point in the game. Like basically like prior to like level tw like 20 minutes or something. As the as the carry, so he needs to he needs to be going down here. We just we just say that in the, in the comms, just to make it easier, like communicate with each other. You know what I mean? You call you call your lane assignments, makes it really easy. You see somebody's like splitting like in, in a side lane, like whoever's going to go deal with that, like calls that that's their lane assignment. They call that. Overforcing. They have a turret. There's nothing really that can be gone here. Instead of forcing under, like, their turrets and stuff like that. Which is just, like, this is crazy. It works, but, like, it is so risky. And now here comes Va or here comes Riven to collect, like, a double kill. Triple kill, even. What we want to be doing is we want... We when you're crawling back, like, uh, a lead, you know they have a lead, but you don't know how big it is. You don't make desperate plays. When you make desperate play, you make desperate plays when the game is lost. Like, you're, they, the enemy team has three dragons, they're up probably 10, 20k gold on you, they're maybe about to get a baron. Like, that's when you make desperate plays. All these plays are desperate plays. What you want to do instead, okay, is you want to make plays outside of their vision. You create pockets, exactly like we talked about in the previous game. You create pockets of vision where they don't know what's happening there. And then you fight them in those pockets. Right? So if you, instead of doing that, right? You make sure they have no vision in this area. And you set up pink wards here. Or a pink ward in here to make sure they can't see the, the, the second Rift Herald is spawning. Right? You can start the Rift Herald. And then if somebody walks into this, you as a team fight them. Because you've got... You had three people here, and you had some. Uh, you had the jungler, right? And you have top lane still playing in top lane. It's like this is this is your domain. They don't have they don't have vision here. You you create like a, a pocket of darkness for them. Somebody walks first. If it's Jax, Jax is the probably the safest one. That's the smartest thing. Are these players always going to do the smartest thing? No. The Morgana might walk in, she's dead if she walks in. The Sivir might walk in, she's dead if she walks in. The Vigar walks in, you're burning his flash. <laughs> he doesn't have flash, he's dead. I'll go until, like, if another big fight opens up, where you guys, like, lose it, then I'll, I'll say, like, that's probably entering the desperation point, where the game's probably over. But... Technically, right now, the game is not over. You guys do have 
you have scaling on your side. And eventually, given enough time, the Alawi will be able to 1v2 Riven and Jax. And you guys even win a fight here. Enemy team do something crazy. Overextend. Uh, Dragon, unfortunately, Dragon isn't spawning just yet. It's like another 50 seconds. Usually, you want to sync up those crazy fights with an objective coming up. Unfortunately for you guys, the Dragon did not come up. Uh, right here, you guys don't want to group up. This Jack should not have been able to get this off. Some, I, don't, I don't know how he got so deep and he's just killing everybody. Holy fuck. Is this a pentakill? Did I miss something? No. The, oh, my God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's probably the end of the game. <laughs> that Jack shouldn't technically really be, in it, be able to get that flank off because somebody, like, standing over here should be able to hit him to make him not immediately run forward. Milia also, like, you can use your Q. Bounce him back when he tries to Q. Instead, it, w it wouldn't go... <laughs> They, I mean, the Jax wasn't, didn't have a pentakill. He was 3-1-7. and seven. Do you know what can stop him? A Volibear stun, a Condemn, a knockback from Milio, the E from, from Aurelian Soul putting it, like, on top of himself. Like, a, that's what can stop him. The guy, he doesn't have Flash. He's got Ghost. Does it really stop him from getting a pentakill there? I don't know. But at least then everybody doesn't get stunned because all three of you got stunned. With, and Milio ult can only be used when Milio's not stunned, and Milio got stunned. I mean, I understand getting tilted here. This is just the end of the game. This is this is the point where the game has reached desperation point. Like, this is where desperation plays come in. But prior to that, like, there were mom there are things that you can do instead of... Yeah. <laughs> there are things that you can do instead of go for, like... You, you don't go for the desperation plays yet. That's what you guys started doing. So, instead... Make plays outside of turrets. Don't dive turrets crazy like that where you just, like, dove three people. Like, all, all that all that results is, like, everybody understands when that's happening. Like, the game's in a terrible situation, right? But we've still got scaling. We've got Aurelian Soul. Aurelian sc Soul scales just as well as Vigar. Vayne scales way better than Sivir, I would say. It's just, like... Sivir's got wave clear, but she doesn't scale as well. Like, she's going to fucking die to Vayne. Milio scales incredibly well compared to Morgana. Morgana is, like, useless. And eventually, Alawi can 1v2 uh, a Riven and, and a, a Jax just by pressing R and pressing Ws. So. But, yeah. There was, like, there was, there was small things in there, too. I Like, small tips and stuff like that. Just giving you guys... There's, a, like, not trying to go too in-depth of being, like... That's why I'm not trying to criti criticize you guys when you make, like, a misplay or something like that. Because, like, that can just happen because you guys don't play the game as much as other people. Like, that, you know what I mean? So, it's like, you haven't played the game as long. It's no, You're not as good at it. It's like, I don't... I'm not trying to criticize that stuff. I'm trying to criticize the stuff you can control, which is just, like, like your game plans and what you're thinking about. Yeah, it's like wards, like thinking about like strong side of the of the map and like setting setting up like making sure that when you're taking plays, like when you're ahead or behind, like those are they're not 50-50 plays, like they're like 70-30 plays. It's like you know enemy mid you saw the enemy mid laner recall. It's like now I know if I take Rift Herald at and your your laner's on the map, like it's a 3v2. Their laner can't get there in time. It's like, just making sure you got numbers advantage. Making sure that, like, when a lane is winning, you play to make sure that lane is still winning. Like, you, you, you defend that lane, because if if you defend that lane in, the one, in, the, in their isolated, like, lane matchup, they're always winning. Which means they're always accruing an advantage. They're getting more gold than the opponent. They're generating pressure. Generating pressure, which can, as a jungler, like, you can use... To get more ahead as well. Join my Discord and submit your games for the next VOD review.